Hello, today's devotional can be found in the Joseph Smith translation to John chapter 1 verse 7. The same came into the world for a witness, to bear witness of the light, to bear record of the gospel through the Son unto all that through him men might believe. Okay, so John the Baptist was the forerunner for Jesus Christ. He taught people, he baptized them, he baptized Christ. God sometimes sends people before us to be forerunners for us in the work we will have to do. We may not meet these forerunners, but we will know of their legacy if we actually choose to open our eyes and our hearts and our ears and listen and learn and look. We should not be ashamed the people came before us to pave the way for the work that we are meant to do for the Lord. We should not be scared <clears throat> to witness of the Lord's goodness and his mercy. We should not be afraid to learn and to grow and to embrace the opportunities that our forerunners have given us through their work in the past. We know very little about sacrifice compared to the people of yesterday. Because as those people of yesterday were pioneers, they ended up making the first sacrifices. And they ended up giving up a lot. It's a lot easier today because people in general, society in general talks about acceptance and equality. I mean, it's not there, but people today are less likely to sacrifice, less likely to be selfless, less likely to pave the way for others. Society in general just likes to see people struggle. So those lessons have been lost. And there aren't very many forerunners out there anymore who are actually willing to prepare the way for future generations. They consider it tough love. Mm. <clears throat> to let people figure out things on their own, but, you know, future generations need good examples, just like we needed the good example of our forefathers. We should not be afraid to want to prepare the way for future generations as the way has been prepared for us. We shouldn't be so into ourselves that we forget about those around us. Christ performed the atonement so that we could look outside ourselves and our sins. So we can actually thank him for the atonement by doing our best to do just that by looking outside of ourselves and our sins. We should not be ashamed of bearing a witness of all that is good by doing good ourselves. Because there are so many that can benefit from our example just as we benefited from the examples of those who came before us. But you know it's our choice what we do with our time but we'll have to be held accountable for it. And I say this and I love you all so very much in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.